my runaway mama Always chasing another man That's my runaway mama Call the law, turn her in Hello friends, Brian Oberlin here on the Mandolin. So happy to be invited to do a little interview here on the Mandolin World Facebook page. Thank you, Fabio. I am originally from Grand Rapids, Michigan, and that is where I am now. Um, I lived out in Portland, Oregon for, for a decent portion of my life, 2005 to 2017. It was out there that I started to take my mandolin career pretty seriously. I, uh, I practiced a bunch, still practicing actually. And uh, I started a, a mandolin orchestra, the Oregon Mandolin Orchestra. And I started a mandolin camp, the River of the West Mandolin Camp, because I love teaching so much. And uh, like some of you, professional musicians out there, you, you know what it's like that uh, you have to teach lessons and, and do what you can to keep your, your music career afloat, and that's exactly what I've done uh, and continue to do here. Um, <clears throat> I've done a lot, I really like playing solo mandolin, and I've, uh, I have about four CDs out of that stuff with some a classical album and some swing albums and some some original albums and and of course I play in some bluegrass bands over here in in Michigan I play with a band called Full Chord Bluegrass and um, the Journeyman and Grasshopper and uh, I started a an orchestra here in Michigan called the Michigan Mandolin Orchestra which is just growing its legs now. Um, so we have a couple of questions here and I'll try to get, uh, try to get through them. If I had a special meeting with one of my favorite mandolin players, who would that be and, and, and uh, how would it go? Well, <clears throat> it's hard to just pick one. It's impossible. I can't do it. Um, I would definitely pick Tiny Moore and Jethro Burns, and Johnny Gimble. Now, if you don't know who those folks are, please do look them up. Tiny Moore played electric mandolin with Bob Wills and the Texas Playboys. All those really great double and triple line electric instrument lines that were going on. Uh, Tiny Moore arranged a lot of that stuff. Uh, just a, an incredible player. Johnny Gimble is most known for playing swing fiddle um, but he he was just a really great mandolin player uh, swing and swing and mandolin player and of course Jethro Burns everyone knows who Jethro was the, the great Chicago mandolin jazz player and humorist boy was he funny um, but you know I if I could I wouldn't just keep it to mandolin players um, I would, uh, I would hang out with Merle Haggard for a song or two and just try to, just try to sing at least one verse just like he did it. Buddy Emmons, the great pedal steel guitar player, he's a huge inspiration for me. And Jimmy Bryant, the Telecaster player, and pretty much any real hot Telecaster, Telecaster player I will, uh, I'll listen to. They inspire me so much. And probably above all of them would be the great Beethoven. Uh, next question is, is there a mandolin album that is near and dear to my heart? Absolutely. I keep in my electric mandolin, in the case there, I keep a copy of the album Back to Back. And that is with Jethro Burns and Tiny Moore. 
uh, from the 80s with an incredible rhythm section. Um, also the album Tiny More Music and Johnny Gimbel's album The Texas Fiddle Collection. But my standard rule is if that the, if the music is good, I'll listen to it. So um, when I'm not on stage, what do I like to play? Well, I've gotten pretty good at not being on stage in the last three weeks, as I'm sure most of you have as well. Um, so I've been stretching out a bunch on a lot of different material. Here's one. This is some old-time mandolin music here from 1769, written by the great Pietro Denis. It's variations on the theme von Gretry. And uh, this is just a little section of it. that is because it's so different than any of uh, the American mandolin techniques that that you use in bluegrass or swing. The right hand stuff is just super fun. And they also do it, you know. So that's fun. Another thing I like to do, and this is something that I've always kept myself busy with, is um, is playing with swing music and often I won't even do it in time it's just an exercise for me um, I think about harmony um, and, and I'll play a chord and then I'll try to solo around it and see what I can do so this old this old tune called it had to be you and it's nice because it's real slow like that so what I would do when I'm sitting around practicing is I would just trying to voice lead myself to the next chord. So I'll think G. And then E. A. Stuff like that. So that's what I do all day long, if I can. Um, some of the current projects that I'm doing, I am playing some uh, bass mandolin duets with a really great bass player, Sally Bacon, and I'm working on some more solo concerts. And of course, the Michigan Mandolin Orchestra, we will play some concerts very soon, I hope. Uh, and um, of course, the heavy working band I play in, Full Chord Bluegrass, we, uh, we're doing lots of things. So, thank you, Mandolin World, for, uh, for tuning in here. You know, we play the greatest instrument on the world. It's been proven. And it's so great that uh, all of us get together and share and discuss mandolins and, and do what we do. And we'll just make the make the instrument better make the music more available make the music better um, quality music is really important so uh speaking of some some music you can head to my website which is mandoberlin.com there's a little link there uh mandolin education scroll down to the lesson hub and click on there i have nearly 200 free pdf sheets 
of music and chord shapes and stuff um, because I just like sharing um, mandolin education. It's fun stuff. Thank you, friends, and see you down the road.